Musician News. We're at the Winter NAM 2012, and I'm at the Korg booth with Rich Foreman Doni. We're going to talk about their pretty new Micro Eranger, which is, I guess it's kind of geared around uh, beginning intermediate players. Can well, you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it can really be geared towards any kind of player, but uh, one of the uh, the main customers that we think we're going to be able to, uh, to please with this is, say, a guitarist or a singer or songwriter who might have an idea for a song in their head, um, can play a few chords, or even if they can't play a few chords, just play one finger and it plays the entire chord for you, and the keyboard actually brings together the entire backing ensemble. So okay. it reacts to the way that you play, and, and then you can go back and change what you've done, hire a different band to play the chords you just put in. So. Okay, so it has a lot of the other sound, the backup uh, accompaniment sounds yeah. in it. Yeah, definitely. It has dozens and dozens of different styles based on all kinds of music from all around the world. You can add more styles to it. There's hundreds of freestyles available on the internet that you can download. And uh, it's based on our Arranger technology from the PA series. And it's the most popular Arranger keyboards in, in the world, the most popular Arranger series uh, in the world. So there's a huge community of users that have created all this wonderful content that people can, can just download right onto it, which is great. Okay. Oh, so you can do, add some of your own stuff to it, huh? Sure, yeah. D is it battery powered or is it? No, it doesn't take batteries. It does come it's with an AC adapter. An AC though. adapter, huh? Yes. And it has like, does it have MIDI outs and yep, some of the other? Yep, it has MIDI out, MIDI in, audio outputs. It also has a stereo built-in speaker system. Uh, it has terrific acoustic sounds, electric sounds, basically any kind of sound you need. It's got a stellar example of it built right in. So how would you maybe start a song? You just kind of like, you. okay. So I've got a style here. It's kind of a funky style of music. And what I'm gonna do is just play a couple of chords in and record what's called a backing sequence. So I'll do real time recording. And I'm just playing a couple of simple chords. And you can hear the band sort of uh, changing what it's doing. So now I can play that back if I want to. Or if I want to take those chords and hire a completely different band, all I have to do is go to step mode. And now I can change the style to something else. So let's go to, uh, for example, Latin dance. All right, and let's see how that sounds. So I can also go back and program changes in the intensity. So if I wanted to play that style first and show you how it, how it would sound, there's variation number one. We'll jump to variation number three. So you can hear the quality of the sounds is, uh, you know, far beyond what you would expect looking at such a small instrument. How many tracks can you do? Well, uh, there yeah. are uh, uh, there are four right hand parts and eight left hand parts. So you've got uh, you've got the accompaniment band backing you up, and you can play four instruments in the right hand in real time. Okay. Or you can record in a linear way, like you would in our in our workstation sequencers, and do uh, a multi track sequencing. So if I go to uh, song mode right here, and I want to record a new song, I can choose from up to 16 tracks and record on each one of them one at a time. Okay, and the additions, are they samples that you say you can add, there's packs that you can add to it? Not so much samples, but additional programs, programs and styles that use okay. the existing sample content. Is there any way to output any of that sequencer data? Absolutely, yeah. It has an SD card slot, so uh -huh. you can save your creation as a MIDI file, uh, or you can hook it up through MIDI and connect it to a computer through a USB MIDI interface and uh, and record right into your favorite sequencer. Oh, and they just kind of press play and it'll send that MIDI data? Exactly. Out onto, uh, okay, like your yeah DAW? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Rich. My pleasure. Looks Thank great. Thank you very much.